Listen, we are inspired. We are ready. Let's go fix this thing. Welcome. Welcome to Shuttle Commander. Let's, uh, let's take off. Why not? Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. OTC. OTC is go. TBC. Thank you, booster go. TTC. TTC is go. LPS. LPS is go. Mila. Mila is go. STM. STM is go. Safety console. Safety console is go. SPE. SP is go. LRD. LRD is go. SRO. SRO is go. You have a range clear to launch. And CDR. CDR is go. Heard those words, so uh, we'll get you. Going here shortly. Good luck, guys. Fantastic news. Thanks, Mike. Good luck. Godspeed. And have a little fun up there. You betcha. All systems are. Thanks, brother. The Go for launch. OTC, 212. Go OTC. Okay, clear caution and warning memory and verify no unexpected errors. Standing by now. Here is the retraction of the gaseous oxygen vent hood. Okay, we have no uh, caution and warning enunciation. Stand up complete. Thanks, Charlie. Gimbling of the main engines is complete and the aerosurfaces have been verified that they are positioned for launch. The external tank now is reported to be at flight pressure. OTC 212. Close and lock your visors and initiate your O2 flow and you all have a good trip. All right, everybody. Okay, I'm ready. Camps in. Visors down. Zero to on. Let's go for ET LH2 pressurization. Give me a time check around the horn. Go to your loud and clear. That's one, loud and clear. Two, loud and clear. Three, loud and clear. And there's four, loud and clear. Yeah, loud and clear. 90 seconds away from right, launch now. Got you all the way up in 30 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you going to take down that right shade or do you want to move there? Uh, the right shade. Yeah. Under yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Awesome job, you know. Hey, I'm, hey, really, I'm really, really proud of every one of you. You too, man. <laughs> you gotta get there. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Sound suppression water system is now being armed, which will flow water onto the mobile launcher platform at the rate of 900,000 gallons a minute, beginning at T minus 16 seconds. The orbiter computers have positioned the vent doors to the launch configuration. Standing by now for a go for auto sequence start. T minus 33. We've had uh, so what? a hold. We do not know at this time what the problem is. We'll be standing by for word, but the clock is holding at T minus 31 right. seconds to, to, stand by. to a system failure. Okay. NTD is CMPL. Go ahead. It's uh, LCC MTS 8. And uh, PV-9 outboard is on drain, closed power is off, it should be on. No recommendation. And uh, NTD, that we're in a no-go situation. We should have uh, our open power and we do not. Or excuse me, our, our closed power. SP. And uh, MTS, can we verify that the valve is closed? Negative. We are right now to a open position. We cannot verify the valve is closed. SP, this is MTS. Go MTS. Okay, look at LCC reads now. If we have the closed power on and the open position off, we can fight, uh, cycle one time and try to pick up the closed position, but uh, we never picked up the closed power. Okay, and MTS, uh, we have a message that we were blocked by a prerequisite sequence from DCL-18. What has happened is the ground launch sequencer would not hand off to the orbiter's computers to complete the count. 
because the liquid oxygen fill and drain valve was showing off when it should be on. Uh, we've been holding two minutes. FD, this is uh, CMPS. We're going to make an attempt to pull to that valve closed. Uh, we've got the pre set off. If this works, we should be in good shape. I copy. Proceed. Yeah, work. We have seven minutes of runtime available on the auxiliary power units. We've been holding now about two minutes and 20 seconds. And to use the CMPS, uh, the valve's closed, we'll go. There's the confirmation that we have successfully okay, and, uh, you're in the recycled. Okay, you have a go to proceed. Uh, GLS, pick up the count immediately. I copy. Mark. It's showtime. It is. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, we're on. Let's go for auto sequence start. We are go for start. Bad, everybody, 25. Booster hydraulic power units have started. Start with a safety alive here. Good. Uh, no kidding. Sound suppression water system has started. Minus 13 seconds. Yeah. E minus 10, go for main engine start. We are go for main engine start. E minus 6. There we go. Lights out. Three, three, two, two, at Ben Guerrero on two engines if it were necessary. Copy nominal performance two engine bend. I don't remember lift off being quite that violent. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Velocity now 5,000 feet per second. Discovery 60 nautical miles away from the launch site. How's 
All systems continuing to perform well aboard Discovery. Velocity now is 6,200 feet per second. Downrange 100 nautical miles. The uh, environmental systems officer reports the FES is operating well. That is the flash evaporator system that provides cooling to Discovery systems. Discovery Houston, negative return, press to ATO, select band jewel. Press to ATO, negative return. DT, DT, trending to zero. Copy. Uh, coming down. Yes, coming down. 1.7 G's. Check it with my head. <laughs> it's at zero. That's good. Great news. Zero. That's <laughs> yours. All three engines are stable at 104%. Auxiliary power units all performing well. Discovery's velocity is 8,400 feet per second at a downrange distance of 175 nautical miles. 3, press to Miko. Press to The press to call signifies that Discovery could make the main engine cutoff target. Discovery, Droop Banjo 109. Droop 109. And that last call means that uh, Discovery could reach the Banjo transatlantic site on one engine at 109%. Guidance officer confirms that navigation is good. Discovery, single engine banjo 104. Single engine banjo 104. PDG look good there. Yeah, let's get zero. zero. Engines are good. Okay. Mark 22. Holy cow, we're smoking. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could see that. Booster officer reports, so uh, all three engines stable. Houston, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. How many switches do you think you'd be throwing now? <laughs> I know. Coming up on throttling. I agree. The single engine press call means that uh, Discovery could make it to main engine cutoff targets on one engine at 104%. Discovery's velocity now 16,000 feet per second, at an altitude of 58 nautical miles, downrange 435 nautical miles. PSLPH, we expect it. Negative return. Negative return. Negative return. Negative Discovery Houston, concur. No action on fuel cell pH. No action is required. No impact on that uh, pH message. That uh, message was expected during this phase of the launch. Three Gs. Air throttling. Minute to go. We got it. All right. Are you all ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure I have to it. Have to ride, have to ride. <laughs> three engines throttling back now to maintain the 3G limits on the uh, vehicle. Discovery is 580 miles away from Kennedy at an altitude of 56 nautical miles. Yeah, this helmet's heavy. Yeah. Velocity now 19,000 uh, feet per second. You know, with this DSO and these uh, the clicks in the G, so you sort of get squeezed uh, every which way you can. Yeah. Okay, just go easy, guys. We are standing by for main engine cutoff at uh, 8 minutes 32 seconds, mission elapsed time. 10 seconds, Mach 25. Okay, stand by for some XL here, just bear with it. Stand by. How'd you go? There you go. Miko! That was a Miko. That was a Miko. Miko confirmed. Miko confirmed. Miko confirmed. I agree. It's a lot easier than 3G. Oh, much better. Welcome to space, everyone.
It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... Hey, bud. Nice up here. At 300,000 feet. <laughs> That's a killer view. Boy, look at that. What an amazing vehicle. Amazing. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. This is, oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's space. <laughs> oh boy. Good night, all. It's uh, nominal from here. And the booster officer also confirms a, a nominal main engine cutoff. Some pretty, pretty cool. What a ride, huh? Wow, and then we've got missions again. Landing sim. So, yeah, that was Shuttle Commander, Hubble Space Telescope missions. Still there? Are you still there, Earthlings? Wow. Thank you for watching. That was, that was something else.